Welcome back to Trib Live Radio, everybody. I'm Mike Graw. Favorite part of the week, Fridays at 2.30, where we are joined by this weekend's featured entertainer at Blush Gentlemen's Club, 9th Street, downtown, and even more excited this week because it is the magnificent, the gorgeous, the sweet, the lovely Riley Steele. <laughs> Great to see you again. Welcome back to Pittsburgh. What's up? Thank you. Yeah, we're excited to have you. How have things been going so far? You've been here for a couple of days now. Yeah, I love Pittsburgh. Last night was great at Blush. We had so much fun. Everyone showed me their love, did some dances, met my fans. It's great. But I saw you retweeting some stuff earlier today about just the excitement being generated from just random followers or you're finding out you're in Pittsburgh planning trips to get to Pittsburgh to see you tonight. Yeah, I know. I can't wait. I yeah. can't wait. How many Twitter followers do you have, by the way? Some, like, I think I just got to 190,000. That's unbelievable. That's unbelievable. I mean, I get it. I, you're, you're an excellent self-photographer, I Thank guess we you. should say. <laughs> and exceptionally flexible. The pictures, you're big on taking pictures of your butt. Mm -hmm. That seems to be your general milieu that you like to stick to, the pictures <laughs> of the butt. I can't do that. I mean, nobody would want to see it anyway. How but, do you know? Man, that's a fair point. Maybe I should give it a shot, just start tweeting out pictures of my I'm, butt. I'm telling Maybe you. Maybe I can get up to 190,000 followers. Just tweet, a, take, turn around, take a picture of your butt and your followers. I don't, think I, I don't think I can do that. Those are all I'll self taken. Teach you. I'll, I'll give like butt taking lessons or something. Butt taking butt lessons. Taking. I don't think I want butt taking <laughs> lessons. I'm just going to throw that out there. I mean, butt photography lessons. <laughs> that's, okay. All right. Well, we'll work on that. And Riley, you and I were also just planning. I, I saw on Twitter, and this got me excited. I know that this probably isn't the, exactly the sexiest thing to talk about during this interview right now, but you're a big Arrested Development fan. Oh, yeah. And as am I. Oh, yeah. And we just saw a friend of mine send me a link to a chance to win a walk-on role into the new season of movies that they're filming for Arrested Development. Me and you are just riffing some ideas here of how we're going to get our video posted so we can win walk-on roles. All right. Magic trick. Okay. A collage. Okay. <laughs> and something definitely in honor of Kitty. A, a definite flash. And my Maybe my, with Blue's company. Maybe Blue handprints. I blue. We can blue ourselves. That's it. She, you're quoting Arrested Development. Make <laughs> me love you a little bit more, why don't you? Unbelievable. <laughs> up here. Up here, Riley. Up here, Riley. Michael. Up here, Riley. <laughs> so what did you... I mean, you, the crowds were good. You told me that you've got some special things planned for the show. So first off, what time are the shows? 11.30 and 1. 11.30... 11.30 and 1 are the show times tonight. Mm -hmm. Did you just hear something in your headset, too? Mm -hmm. I thought I just heard something weird in there. I know. I don't know. Was it you? It's Halloween time. Did you just burp? No. Okay. <laughs> you sure? I swear. Okay. I believe you. Because I'm sitting right across from you, and I know you didn't, so I don't even know why I'd ask that. <laughs> but, uh, so, okay. 10, 11.30? I already forgot what you said. 11.30. I get flustered around. It should be going on about 11.30 okay. and around 1. And you were telling me you've got something pretty special planned. Like, can you give away any of the secrets, or do people just have to show up and find out? Well, you got to show up to find out, but I'll give you a hint for one of the costumes. Little Red Riding Hood will be for my second show. Is there a wolf involved? Maybe. Does Little Red Riding Hood have a wolf? Yeah, There's I've got my fairy tales oh, yeah. straight, don't I? Fairy tales and fantasies, that's what we're doing tonight. <laughs> fairy tales and fantasies, getting ready, you know, it's Halloween later, I guess, it's October. Yeah. <laughs> that works. Mm -hmm. Is that a standard show for you, Little Red Riding Hood? Is that one of the ones you bust this out, or is this a new one? This is my first time doing Little Red Riding Hood, Yeah. but... um. It's got it's got a full blown show for that one, and we're gonna be playing some games on uh, on the stage tonight. Some games on yeah, stage. Yeah, have some games going on. What kind of games happen on there stage? There will be some silly string involved. Silly string. And then there will be just just some fun. You gotta come down and see. Gotta come <laughs> check it out. Figure it out. Ninth Street downtown, Blush Gentlemen's Club, Blush Exotic tonight and tomorrow night. Correct. Yep. Same show times yep. tomorrow. Tomorrow night's my finale show too. And that's gonna be. I'm going out with a bang. That's going to be even a bigger... <laughs> yeah, going out with a bang. Mm -hmm. uh, a few months ago, it, maybe some of your fans thought that you might have been going out of the industry for good. I know. That's what everybody thought, but I was just joking around. Were you maybe taking a little shot at another everybody one? Everybody says that. Well, no. it was... Yeah, yeah, that's not convincing, <laughs> Riley. That's not convincing at all. <laughs> yeah, BB Jones, who's a girl you've worked with before, yeah. posted a, a, an emotional retirement from the adult industry video, and a few days later, one of you came out. <laughs> Just a total coincidence. You're just Maybe. having a little bit of fun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you still talk to her anymore? You know, anymore? I get bored. <laughs> you get bored? Do you talk to her anymore? No. <laughs> yeah, once she's out, she's out. 
guess so. It's a policy. He's out of the digital playgrounds tables. <laughs> oh, so at that point. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's, what's going on with her, honestly. I really don't. Yeah. I, have, I haven't talked to her in, in um, quite some time now. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think she's definitely way happier oh. where she is now. Well, that's yeah. good. I mean, yeah. I'm, and that's and, all that and matters. You're, and you're happy. Oh, yeah. I'm great. Yeah, I, I love doing what I do. And you just, at the end of the day, you have to do what makes you happy. Exactly. You know? And... You talked about the digital playground. You've been with them your entire career. Yeah. That's the place to be, right? Oh, yeah. How rare is it for somebody to stay with one company like that pretty much since you entered the industry? Um, well, I think the, the only other girl that's ever only done anything with digital and stuck with digital would be Jesse. I'm not sure what um, about other companies, but I know as far as I've been in the industry, who started and is keeping their career with digital has been Jesse, but I, I don't see any need to go with any other company. I yeah, love working it, with them. What Our is, movies are fun. You know, mm -hmm. we get to do, we get to play fantasies. Like we get to be, you know, pilots or we get to be school, like school girls and teachers or, our newest one is going to be Code of Honor, and we get to play military brats. Pretty not brats, but we're in the military. We kick some ass. 